Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask, so I'll tell you. The accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make them establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now in a moment I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Christy Warnick. But before that I would like to say thank you for watching the show live at a later date. As it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to cross boats in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform their present, so they can take charge of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Rain to Angel Energy, and I use future life regression, past life regression, angelic Reiki, meditation, angel cards, and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their reason for being here. And I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny. Now, each episode of this show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or angel card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Christy Warnick, who will be discussing how to discover the power within yourself. Now, Christy is a spiritual, intuitive and energy healer who knows that everything is energy and anything is possible. These are the words that guide her practice every day through her work with consultants, workshops, presentations and online tools. Christy holds the focused intention with the divine that empowers others to transform and heal their lives. Born with empathic ability, she has been slowly guided towards spiritual pursuits her entire life. But the path that led her what there wasn't always easy. Being able to physically and emotionally feel what others were feeling could be overwhelming at times, and it led to health issues early on in life. So before Christy was able to do this work, she had to learn how to observe instead of absorb others energies in order to protect and heal herself. Christie's journey has taught her that extrasensory abilities are divine gifts and they were never intended to cause suffering. Now in reconnecting with her true self, Christie has discovered that she could access her gifts from a place of knowing and channeling divine intelligence through intuition. In this way she can help facilitate others healing and awareness without compromising her own well-being. In turn, Christy is able to model a process that others can use as they interact with the world around them in a healthier, more beneficial way. Christy is trained as a light worker, certified light worker practitioner, Reiki master, certified angel alchemist, and certified holo synchronous energetic technology systems practitioner, which we'll have to ask her more about. But after many years of coaching and teaching and counseling, she has learned that the single most important part of this work goes back to her own innate ability to listen to the very deep level. In her sessions, Christy holds focused intention on miracles and allows herself to be a vessel for the client's highest and best good. Christy's connection with divine intelligence gives her communication channel into relaying the information of energy that is most beneficial to that person or group of people in that moment. Christy's um, path to healing has taught her many things, but perhaps the most important lesson learned is that we don't have to struggle. When we allow ourselves to be open to divine love and intelligence, we are unlimited. So without further delay, hello, Christy, and welcome to the Angels and Destiny show. How are you today? Hello, I am happy to be here, and thank you all for joining us. I'm so grateful to have you join us and interact with us here. Excellent. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts, as both Christy and I want you to be part of this show. So please don't be shy. We'll try to say hello to everyone who says hello and answer any question or comments live or once the show is finished. And if you're watching this on uh, my YouTube channel, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can get updates on all recordings. And as I said, if you watch this on the replay, do please still ask any questions or comments uh, because Christy and I will be going through this. So Christy, why don't you tell us more about yourself and then tell us how to discover the power within ourselves? Yes, uh, yeah, the whole bio there, that was pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, <laughs> and so it really is about, I'm here to, and, and it's, and, and this is what I encourage people though, we'll get more into this, but I get to, <laughs> I've changed my, uh, the way that I, I think about that and say that or believe that. Um, I get to be here and help people and to also to transform their lives for the better. 
And so that comes in many different ways and everyone is different and unique in their own way. And with it, you know, whether it be through these videos, whether it be through uh, sessions or like you said in the bio, they're just consultations or different things like that. Just guiding, some people just come to me for, uh, to, you know, guidance as to how to to start to make these shifts and changes in their own lives. And then some people come to me for more specific healings, whether it's, you know, physical or emotional or just other areas of their life, whether it's be abundance or, you know, relationships, things like that. So I work with all kinds of people all around the world. And I'm so grateful that I get to do that. And so it's such a uh, an honor, really, to, to do that. So I love it. And just that seeing people to make, you know, helping them make progress, uh, receiving the messages that I receive from people saying that, that, you know, the videos or the sessions are changing their lives. That to me is is just so wonderful. I'm just very grateful for that. Yeah, and Ginger, you have such a, um, you know, uh, when, when you talk about it, you you know, you sound really, really passionate um, mm. about it. I um, am. <laughs> you, you are, and Marlene Henry says hello. Hello, hello. And Kenzel Mitchell says hello, shared with Healing from Missouri. And Leanne Diana Byrne says, ah, oh, love Christy, three hearts there. <laughs> And who else? Oh, and Carla. Carla's put a heart on. Hello, Carla. Yes. And, uh, yeah. So, um, finding our power within ourselves. How? Yeah. How? I know, right? <laughs> Took me a little while to discover that. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you just? How did you discover it? Was, um, you know, from the bio, was it a long, long journey or? Um. When I look back now, which I don't really look back, so I, and this is another thing I like to really help people with is when you say you look back or you think about your past, it really is, I like to think of it as, or, or kind of relate to it as a movie. Like, so you kind of, you get to the point to where you, you kind of remove yourself from the situation because you know that that's no longer who you are and you're no longer in that particular time or place or situation. You That is not, you know, your past is not who you are, is not what you are. And so just as your thoughts are, just as your subconscious beliefs are, not who and what you are. And so I realized, though, that and discovered, I got to discover <laughs> um, that when I, when I do look back, though, it's kind of like I look back and go, oh, OK, that was interesting versus, you know, so it's not going back to relive anything or anything like that. So but I did notice, though, that I can really go back to the beginning of of this experience for me, this this lifetime for me. And see where I was probably got, um, I mean, I know I was, but I, I didn't know that I knew um, that I was guided the whole time. And so I can see the little bits and pieces now where, hey, I was uh, manifesting. I, I was, you know, receiving messages then. I just didn't know it, you know, uh, but I didn't come from and didn't have access to anyone or anything at that time to to let me know um we weren't i wasn't from a spiritual family so to speak um you know i didn't we didn't go to church uh which can, and i'm kind of now i'm a little bit um grateful that i didn't receive some of the the belief systems around mm -hmm. the churches and things um so i'm grateful that i did get to but I, I still realize now, though, that there was still the, the belief systems there, even though they weren't mine. They didn't come from me. Um, but I've learned to unsubscribe is what I call it from things that are not mine. <laughs> so, yeah, but I. Um, and so I knew, though, that in order to for me, this happened to be my own experience. I'm not saying this is anyone else's, but for me um the big change came you know as far as you know the health issues that i went through early you know many years ago 
And it started with emotional stuff that went on my entire life that I can look back and I go, that wasn't even mine. It was coming from somewhere else. It was coming from like my mom and, and her depression or from, from this or that or the other. But, and so, but I also realized that I had the belief systems and stuff around being empathic and what that does and what that means and what you experience with that. And so, but now I, I go, I go within and I realized that these things aren't, weren't true. It didn't have to be that way, but that's okay. I, I'm, I now know better <laughs> that spiritual gifts are not meant to, to cause struggling and suffering and pain necessarily. They're not. And it's the belief systems around them and how it's, how it's become, I don't want to say conditioned, but you know what I mean? It's, mm. it, you know, it, and so, but it really is because people are listening to what other people are saying and, and experiencing what other people are experiencing because they, they don't, you know, and it's, and it's okay. Cause it, you know, sometimes you just don't know, but it's leading you back to yourself, your true self and, and the things so showing you who you, who and what you truly are versus what other people may still be stuck in these, these things that have been created or whatever, that you can learn how to be in your own power and not um, be affected by those things. So that's ultimately just in the past year, even though I've been doing energy healing work for several years now, many years, um, it's, there was still something, you know, it was still, even though I was connected in and I was making sure my clients were, you know, they were receiving that, you know, always had the best intentions, created a sacred space, all that stuff. But it, it was really this past year, so much has changed that I realized that what I was connecting in with was actually already within me. And so that from being in that space, it can heal I, and it's not healing necessarily because I believe that we're all we're all healthy and healed already. It's just that there's this stuff that's not ours or that's not really true or that is not coming from our own truth. It's coming from things that may be going on in the mind or whatever um, that is, you know, can we can just start to let go, just be open to letting go of some of these things because that were so and i know because i was there you know I, I went through all these courses and classes and took all these things and i had all these beliefs about okay it you know it has to be done this way and you got to do this and and so when i started changing though that need to have to do this and that and the other because oh my soul wanted me to mm, not so much that wasn't actually true um, my soul was actually telling me you don't need to do that <laughs> yeah. uh, you get to because of who and what you are and just being you get to do these things there is no set soul mission soul purpose that you have to do your soul will guide you to that just by being who you truly are you will just know things you will attract you will um you know, it, and it really goes back to that in which once you realize, because like that whole thing to do with um, a lot of people, I know a lot of people out there are, and I, and I, I was there too, um, you know, don't believe necessarily that they're worthy or deserving or good enough because of something that happened before. But once again, that's because of something that they were told or something that they experienced that is came from something that is just not true. So once you start to align yourself or start to connect in, it will automatically align that you're, you know, you're with that true self. Yeah. Which is your soul in its purest form, basically. It's that divine within however you whatever works best for you. Some people like to connect in with their higher self, whatever works best for you. As long as there's something other than your mind that you're connecting in with, that is um and, and like I said, it is not going to tell you anything that is negative about yourself. It is not going to tell you that you are not worthy, that you're not deserving or good enough. That is just not true. Actually, those things are actually don't even exist. Those were things that were made up because when you're in your true self space, it, you, it there is no whether you're worthy or deserving. It, it just doesn't matter. That's not even an issue. It doesn't even, 
it's just it's just a thing that people have that's been created over time and so so much of of what we're experiencing is because of what we've been taught what we've learned what we've heard from others what we've experienced previously based on those things and we can start to let go of those things if you choose to it's a choice no one can do it for you you can do sessions with with people like us and and it can help you help guide you to that but it is it is ultimately your choice okay and so when you do the sessions we can absolutely get you there much more quickly but it's also something you can do for yourself but we're here to support you and so it's it's just amazing though how freeing it is when you if if and when you decide or and 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 actually just know you just have this knowing that there is something greater than what you thought that is that is your tr that is really who you are and which is a divine being which is a um which is love and peace and joy and harmony and all these wonderful things and because of that because of that so in other words being that causes you that cause and effect the effect is you get to be healthy you get to be happy you get to be all these wonderful you get to be abundance because you are abundance the universe is abundant you you cannot um lose something that you are that you truly are so it's important for people to know once you discover who you truly are that will let go of a lot of the fear because you cannot lose it no one can take it from you and you cannot lose it once it's there it's there but you it's already there it's just really digging below and realizing and not listening to everything that goes on that you know that you hear things in your mind things like that and really learn that you can live from that place of love um and do so harmoniously and still have a human experience it's just more pleasant it's more there's more peace there's more harmony there's more happiness there's more you know you're healthier and things like that just and that's the reason why people that meditate often whether it's a practiced meditation or just going out and and you know it's, you know the more you you do that but you can also start to live from that place too once you just quiet your mind a little bit and not listen to what's going on in there because a lot of times that stuff is what's going on in there is you know there's so much that we don't know that we can allow to be i like to call it a mystery um and and when you open up to that too to where you don't need to have to know all these things or figure it out or this or that because okay. i mean in the end you're there's no way you could possibly know everything but you get to be and and you are attached to connected to a um that divine intelligence so we think that the mind needs to think and figure things out but when we actually allow that divine intelligence in the the mind doesn't it can kind of slow down it can kind of stop figuring things out because you will just start to receive information and then you're not searching for it in your mind because it even that may or may not be true and so you can actually and do your best to translate whatever you do receive but it can come through much more clearly but it's getting there so it's there's there's ways to do that more pleasantly um and you can start by they talk about being more present and in the moment um sure that that's good but some people have a little you know they they have some trouble with that and that's okay because you know the more you just not just sit there and just think 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 you can start to just notice things around you just here and there taking just a few minutes a day just to to just be doing something without thinking about it you know and so it really starts to train the mind to but eventually the the your mind that the the brain functions that are your mind um as we're people are awakening enlightening whatever you want to call it those things are changing those those functions of the brain are evolving and changing is is what i'm getting uh, is that's just the information that i received um into where 
you know, the thoughts aren't as necessary. So they they're, they can become just, they'll quiet down. And then eventually we'll just receive one of these days for us. We'll just start to receive information and, and the mind just will, it'll, it, it'll, like I said, we'll still have the brain functions, but they're evolving, they're changing, they're getting upgrades or whatever you want to call that. So it's, it's transforming the, the brain and the functions are transforming so that we, we can live more peacefully uh, and not believe in these other things. And so, but it's the power within you that will get you there the fastest. Okay. Your mm -hmm. mind and figuring it out and thinking about it is not going to get you there. I learned that. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, yeah, was a totally different. Uh, yeah, that was a whole nother situation there. Um, Cause I thought I, I needed to, I had to, but I don't. And I, and when I started to, yes, I get to ask questions if I want or whatever, but, um, but really it's, it's, and it's also just, and when, when you start to connect in, in with that, your true self, that power within you, you'll notice that so many things that bothered you or that you were offended about or whatever, that maybe your mind was, your body was whatever, it's it's just irrelevant it doesn't matter so i like to think of it as if today were your last day or today was the first day of the rest of your life would these things really matter all mm -hmm. these details all these this and that and the other these labels these this you know all yeah. this information that our minds are thinking about does it really matter no and so those are the things we can start to let go of. Those are the things that we cannot be emotionally attached to. And it will provide that freedom. Yeah. Yeah. And and in the, and it is kind of like, as, as you said, you know, just allowing yourself to be present, um, to, 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 be, to be fully here. You know, I, I kind of like, you know, when I get people that go, yeah, but I don't have the time to be present and to meditate because I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I don't have the time. It's like, do you clean your teeth? Yes. There you go. When you're cleaning your teeth. Or when you're washing dishes or when you're washing clothes, when you're working, don't really be, you can, you can actually do your work without your mind thinking about, oh, I, I've got to do this. I've got to do that. I've got to, you know, that I have to think that I've got to think that I need to think. Start changing that to I can be my my you know from my true self space i can be and i get to i get to be here and i get to do things i get to instead of it being so um i don't know the the word for it exactly it's, it's just like so that it's not so serious like i you know i need to have to do this you yeah. can change it, enlighten it up a little bit this is part of the reason why they call it i guess enlightening Thing that you can kind of start lightening your load, lightening, you know, just things, um, just kind of lightening up, lifting things off, letting go, things like that. Um, and these things will start to happen naturally the, when you actually start to know and believe what you, who and what you truly are. Yeah. And it doesn't necessarily have to be on the spiritual path, so, so to speak you know if every you know there, there's lots of things out there so so it, it's like if you're happy with doing whatever job you're doing because we need people to be cooks to um to be road sweepers you know we we need all those people if you can be happy doing that and you're and you're happy doing that then then you're being of service to the world you are part you do you are doing what you're meant to be here to here to do because you're doing something that no one else um, wants to do, but you're happy with it. Um, so, so you're so you're on your path. It doesn't necessarily have to be spiritual, meditation, healing, anything like that. It could be anything in the world. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think sometimes so, people forget that. Yeah, people get so so when they go start on the spiritual path, they're they're really about the soul's purpose, the soul's mission, and what you know they have you know why they're here and this and that and the other that that's just stuff that <laughs> that is is it's just 
it was believed to be. And we can start to let go of those things because you get, like I said, you get to be here. You get, and because of who and what you are, you get to help people no matter what it is you do. My husband's a plumber. Um, you know, there's, there's people out there, there people are, are needed in certain areas, including medical doctors, including, yeah. um, you know, tr whatever trade you're in, you know, whatever it is. And, you know, people, they, they can do anything and still really be connected to something that is greater than what they thought they were. Yeah that is not better than anyone else because everyone has the same thing within them it has that that power within them the same power that is within me is is within anyone out there it is but my soul is my own essence but it's connected to that highest source creator of all that is it's it's all the same and so no matter how you word it it's not about the wording it's not about the the labels or whatever you can call it whatever you want it doesn't matter uh god source creator does not matter does not care what you call it does not care as long as you believe in something and you know that and because whatever that is whatever it is for you universe you can call it uh, I was talking with someone the other day. They call, you can call it Bob. You can call it whatever. Um, <laughs> it really does go back to love. That's that living in that space of, of knowing that you were created from love to be love with love. And it really does. And it's not just any love. It's not that love that you, no. that word you just throw around. It's not about that. This is something that it's really not even, there's not even a word for it because it's so beyond that. It's the essence of who you are. And it's it's the best way that we have to describe it would be like, you know, unconditional love or that highest level of love. And then you throw in there some peace and joy and things yes. like that. And so these are divinely aligned things that are within you. It's within everyone. And because of that and from that and with that, you are worthy. You are totally deserving. Those are not even a real thing. Um, it seems very real, though, because it's been created and manifested in our human realities. But we can start to change that by making a choice. So when you start to really sit down, not from not thinking about it, but sitting down with your true self and saying, I am loved. Everyone is loved and blessed too, by yeah. the way. That's another thing. You can start with that. Anything you can ask that, you know, and that you would ask of the divine is within you. Like anything that you would believe of, of a divine being, like, you know, there's no judgment. There's no, you know, they're fearless. There's no fear. There's love. There's compassion. There's joy. There's peace. There's harmony. There's all these wonderful things. And anything other than that is not divinely aligned. And so, but when you realize what is within you, what is a part of you, what is the essence of who you are, that can shift and change everything. And that includes your health, that includes your well being, that includes emotions, thoughts, everything. Everything in your life will change. Everything. And so, and it, and it really can, people don't believe that it can be that easy or that simple because they're so um, conditioned in a certain way or whatever that is, but they can let that, you know, start letting that go by actually, you know, starting with, like I said, just connecting in and from that space, asking these questions and then seeing what comes up there, not what pops into your head. Uh, it will just be a knowing or something, yeah. or you'll receive a sign. Ask for a sign. That's the reason why, you know, your show here is about angels and destiny. Mm -hmm. And so connect with the angels or whatever divine beings you believe in. The angels, the archangels, guides, um, you know, God, source, creator, the universe, your higher self, your Unicorns. soul. Unicorns. Yeah, whatever. It does not matter as long as it's a divine being. Find something that you resonate with. Find something that you're comfortable with. 
with asking about these things, with connecting with, and just really inviting them in because it is about using also your imagination. And, you know, you you get to, um, and also because within you is, is divine or the divine, uh, you attract that in which you truly are, or you can change that to where that's actually true for you because that was actually the way it's meant to be. Um, to attract that in which you truly are, which is coming from that true self. And so divine. So you can att you attract divine beings when you recognize that divine within you. That just automatically happens. And on some level, many people, if they're already attracting divine beings into their life and they, you know, connect with them, then on some level, they already have that knowing. It's just really getting the you know, letting go of the knowing up here and, um, and just cause it, it, everything is, is changing, but, um, everyone deserves though to, to have health and happiness in their lives and everyone, everyone, everyone. So even if it started with just knowing that you're loved and blessed and that you are deserving and worthy, that's a good place to start. Yeah. It is a, it is start a somewhere. Good place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Start, start, start within your heart. You know, it doesn't matter what's been going on around you, what people have said to you, you know, be, because because even people that um, work on, on sort of like the spiritual side or whatever you want to call it, you know, we still sometimes have judgments ourselves, but it's, rec it's recognising um, those judgments we have before the words come out of our mouth um to put people into thinking oh my god that person just said that to 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 me um be, because we forget sometimes that words are just so so powerful but but if you are you know fully happy within yourself then it doesn't really matter what people um, matter. around you say because the divine does not it does not matter what words you use they know your intention uh, that that's more of the more important thing if you're if you're doing that and even that you know it, so it's it really is um, yeah it's it's a, it's not only just a letting go process because that you can work from that angle or you can just start enjoying your life more by and and actually in the best way to really get started with that because especially people that are like let's say they're in pain or something like that or they're they're suffering or something when they call on a higher power than what they think they are and then what other people say um when they call on that higher power and it's it really does shift make a big shift when you realize that's within you but just by believing in and connecting to something is going to that's almost always well pretty much always um people that that receive miracles it's because they've connected with a, a higher source in some way they've asked for that and something inside them just it clicked you know their soul was just like yes let's do this um but some people are still in that believing that there's lessons, more lessons mm -hmm. to be learned. And the way I, I help people kind of guide them through that is um, there's always going to be something. It's, it's fine. That's fine. But do we need to or have to continue to struggle and suffer our way through it? No, that can be shifted. OK. And the way I, I like to to kind of a fun thing to put on that is like, so let's say you you go to school and um whether you graduate or not it doesn't matter so let's say you move on from school let's say you're in high school or something like that so either you graduated or you decided to leave it doesn't matter um are you going to choose to go back once you you know let's say you did graduate are you going to choose to go back and do the same things over and over because you feel like there was maybe something else you could have learned in, in high school you know, most of the time you're moving on to something different. You know, people don't really choose to go back to high school or something like that. Um, but you continue to grow and, and learn in other ways without having to be stuck in that particular type of situation anymore. So it's kind of like graduating. Once you connect in with a higher power, it's like seeing that as a graduation and then you get to move on to the next thing. Um, so, you know, you're not stuck in high school for the rest of your life, you know? And so it's just like knowing that wherever you're at now, you're not stuck there for the rest of your life. You get to move on. 
you know yeah. you get to move forward yeah i like that graduation you move you're moving on taking the next step on on, on the ladder to to being the most perfect person um that you that you are and you can be and and you will be and just making these little shifts and changes here and there and then noticing how it is starting to to kind of make changes so so like if you decide okay one day okay yeah that's no longer true for me well until that shifted fully within you you know there might still be like uh for example here's a good one um everyone everything and everyone is energy okay Mm -hmm. we are all energy so you cannot lose or it cannot be taken away that in which you are truly um you're we're connected to an infinite energy source it's an abundance right mm -hmm. um so, but yet people still are have belief systems around giving away their power uh you know people taking their energy them giving away their energy would that really be true if, if you're, if you are energy and you're connected to an infinite energy source? So these are things that can be healed and start to shift and change so that you're not affected by other people's stuff. And so that you are not, um, you know, giving away your power or you think you are. Um, these are just old things that can be resolved and shifted or, you know, what I healed, whatever, um, that, so that we can start being in our power all the time because we truly are. If you think mm -hmm. about it, your power is always there. You don't lose it. It doesn't go anywhere. No. Um, but these are just things that have been, I don't know, conditioned or programmed or belief system. I don't know what, you know, whatever you want to call them, but we can start to shift that. So by all means, I, I do encourage people continue to do your, you know, setting your boundaries, bubbling, whatever you got to do, but change, maybe start changing that belief so that you will notice that you're less and less affected by these things that you thought used to think or someone told you was true. Because I know I, I was taught that, that that's the way it was, you know, mm. cloak yourself, bubble yourself, create boundaries, have your boundaries. And I'm thinking, and then now I'm like, well, is that really... That just doesn't it just doesn't resonate with me anymore so i just noticed that that just wasn't true for me anymore yeah. and so but it's still like this allowing all the the areas in which you were affected by that you know they they can heal and then you will just notice that you're not affected anymore yeah um and Ann has said how do we shift and heal Ooh, that's that's it's very it's very individual to each um everyone in, is different is everyone is unique so but the way the same thing the one thing the one thing for everyone that is the same is that divine that is within you so ultimately, if you want to make a lifelong change, yes, I do healing sessions. People do heal this and heal that. They get healed um, and and things like that or, you know, whatever works. You know, some people it's instant. Some people it takes a little bit longer. And so it just depends on the person. And I don't uh, you know, it's not up to me to know the how, the when, the where, the why and all of that. But I just know that when people schedule a session with me, it's there's there's some kind of shift or change that happens, some kind of healing that, that goes on because I'm just letting the divine come in. And so. So, yeah, so it's definitely connecting in with that. Your true self. That's that's if you want a lifelong change, that's that's not going to, you know, cannot be affected then that you, you it's going within it's going it's connecting it's it's knowing that that's within you and that's the way but you know there's there's other ways there's many techniques and modalities that we have that help absolutely sessions help but ultimately we're guiding you to that place um to to where you you know your true power you know your power within you and you can really shift and change things on your own once you really step into that and so that's you know we're here to help with that yeah and um rosa put on there so suppose so to to vibrate higher 
I didn't that'll, exactly. happen exactly. that'll just happen when you're in that yeah. space. It, it's an automatic thing. It, it is, um, you know, and, you know, just be happy with yourself and where you are at, at this moment in time. You know, that's the most easiest way is to be happy, to be happy with yourself and where you are at that this mo at this moment in time and to be grateful that you're alive today even if there's loads of chaos and everything going around you i'm grateful that i'm alive today i'm in human incarnation at this particular moment in time i have yeah. the power to change to change things um and that and then that's something we that, that we that we don't that sometimes we forget we can we have the power to change our everything that's happening around us and within us yes absolutely and, and when we connect with and when we connect with our higher selves within ourselves into our hearts then that just feels that and we know that we can that, that, that we can change whatever we need to change and that automatically brings our vibration up higher yes and so that's it's a it's a natural thing that will happen when you really do that and and so it, it can be a natural process but the more that you find things to do um in the process if, if that's the way you choose to do it um find something that works for you whether it's meditation if it's being out in nature if it's um connecting with with angels or or you know your higher self or whatever it is uh reiki you know different Painting. whatever technique Yes, anything that can, you know, color, you know, any any activity, anything that you can do, because ultimately the happiness comes from within you, because anything you do outside of yourself that, you know, you find that that makes you happy, um, that's temporary, but it can help you. It can actually start to shift and change within you, but ultimately to for lasting things, it's got, it's going to shift and change within you um that that that's got to come from within um and but yes you can absolutely have that support around you have these things that you do that is um you know that you find that you enjoy the more you do those things even if you're at work finding something some way something somehow to to just enjoy it a little bit more without being distracted or affected by others around you but ultimately you know, yes, you can change jobs and see if that helps. But if you find that the same thing happens no matter where you go, then it's something within you that is that is to be changed, that can change to help the, for that lasting thing. I know people that go from job to job to job and they everywhere they go, even everywhere they live, they'll move from place to yeah. place to place and they complain about their neighbors. They complain about the people around them. They're negative. They're this, they're that, they're that when you really make these shifts and changes on the inside you're not affected by that your environment will change even if they stay the same it will change for you because you're a different person and you're not affected by them so that's how you you ultimately make that stop <laughs> if, if that's what you're wanting to do um it will just happen naturally though yeah 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 it's it's one of those organic things that that just actually are, um work, works along so um you know we've we put up several people that said hello and joined us like angie marlene reza carla and that uh, so um so what chris and i've been talking about because normally um as you know i offer um a uh, guide meditation or an angel card reading but what Christian, Christy and I have decided to do today is we're going to do a little something together, which is, um, as you may be aware, Christy is very good at clearing and working on energy. You know, she she can she doesn't need to. You don't need to be in the room with her. You need to be watching her on screen. You know, you can feel your energy changing. So we're going to do a little um, a little uh, meditation. Um, collaboration. Collaboration. <laughs> Collaborate meditation or something <laughs> like that. Um, Collaboration um, meditation. Yeah, we'll just mash it together. Then. Yeah, yeah. We 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 like we like mash we like we like mashups. So um, as usual, um, hopefully you're not watching this while you're driving, which you wouldn't be. But 
you know. If you are, that's it. fine too. Just come back and watch the replay to actually participate. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And if you're and if you're listening to this, you know, do make sure you're not doing anything that just 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 allow yourself to be in the moment, not to be disturbed. So if you've got the kids and dogs and everything running around at the moment, come back and watch the replay and do this. But if you haven't, now is the time to take that few moments um, for Christy and I to kind of like help you a little bit connect with your higher self and find a little bit more of the power within yourselves. So what I'd like you all to do is just close your eyes. And as you do so, just take a couple of deep breaths in and on the out breath, just let go of anything that doesn't need to be in this space at this time. And just allow your breathing to fall into its natural rhythm, breathing in relaxation and breathing out anything that doesn't need to be in this space. And as you continue breathing, just see, feel, imagine or know a beautiful golden light above your head. It's a beautiful golden light of peace, safety and relaxation. And just feel and allow this beautiful golden light to shine down on you. And just feel it going deep within you, going through your aura, your etheric body, all the way into your physical body. As your physical body just starts to relax more and more and you feel your whole head relax your eyelids relax as your eyes are closed and as you think about relaxing so you do relax and that relaxation moves down into your jaw and your jaw just feels so wonderfully relaxed and that relaxation moves further down into your neck and your throat spreading out onto your shoulders it's like warm gold liquid sunshine just massaging your shoulders relaxing further down your arms your hands your fingers moving into your upper body your chest relaxing your stomach the whole of your back your spine just relaxing vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae and that relaxation moves further down into your stomach muscles your hips your pelvis your buttocks going all the way down into your thighs your calves and your shins into your feet and your whole body just feels totally relaxed and as you feel yourself relax i want you to with your right hand just put it over your heart center just allow your hand to go onto your heart center and take your awareness down into your heart take your awareness to where your hand it's on your chest against your heart. And just take a couple of deep breaths in, deep into your heart, fully connecting to the unconditional love that is inside you. And as you do, and you relax, you allow yourself, you give yourself permission to connect to your higher self, your higher you, that energy that you are completely and totally, you have been, you are, you will be, you are connected. And as you connect to that higher self, that will pass you over to Christy. Yes, just be in that space and do your best to, it does help if you want to hum or maybe put the your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Sometimes that will help to quiet the mind, but really just paying attention to being in your 
you know, your body instead of just your mind there. And just taking deep breaths. When you take those deep breaths all the way in, that quiets the mind as well. And know from this space that you're connecting to, whatever you want to call that, your higher self, you can actually, you know, invite that into to this space, your higher self, your soul. It's a loving space, so it all goes back to love. And just know from this place, any questions you ask, any answers you get within the silence, sometimes the silence is the answer. And sometimes the answer will come after you're done. So just enjoy the moment. Enjoy the peace. Be with that. And from this place, any answers you get, the way that you know that they are from the divine is that it is going to be a loving and supportive answer. It is going to guide you in a positive, loving, harmonious way. That is the voice of the divine. The divine answers you will receive in that space. And just continue to take some deep breaths in. We're just going to ask that you be aligned with your higher self or your true self, whatever you believe in there. So your higher self, so a lot of people really relate to. So let's just align that in the best way and know that you can come back to this space anytime you want. And that alignment will, you can set the intention for that alignment and it will happen. It will start to shift things from that place. And from this place, enjoy that peace, enjoy that quiet. Or if you feel that just maybe just be in that knowing that you are loved, that you are blessed, which also means you are safe, you are protected. And you are worthy, you are deserving. Find what works best for you to get to that place of knowing that that is true for you from that truth that is within you. And if you want, you can imagine like a beam of light going down to the center of the earth, all the way up through you as it's going up through you. It is aligning and balancing. Also, the energy centers are what you may know as the chakras. And it goes all the way up to that creative energy of all that is. And know in this moment you are safe, you are protected because you are loved and you are blessed. And you are divine being within you. It is there. Connect with that as often as you want. Okay. And Ray, if you want to walk us out of this, mm -hmm. that would be great. And so now if you just take a deep breath in and on the out breath, just allow yourself to come fully back into yourself, into the here and now and the present. Take your hand off your heart center. And just bring it down to your side. And that movement will bring you back into your body. If need be, wiggle your fingers and toes, making sure you are back fully present in your body in the here and now. And when you're ready, open your eyes and be fully back, fully present, fully knowing the unconditional love that you are and you have inside you. And if you've got some water with you, drink some water 
Absolutely. And as you're coming back, I will share with you a card that I pulled. Ray was there with me when I pulled yep. this card for everyone. And it's from my Lightworker Oracle deck. I don't do a lot of card readings anymore, but uh, this one, I just keep these handy. It's Star Child. So that is the card. And it's really to let you know that no matter where you believe that you're from or where you should be, that you are here and you get to be here and you get to help others. You, you're here for a reason. And that no matter where else you, you sense or feel that you should be, it is just that. It is a something within you that um, that is telling you that you should be somewhere else. But it's also this card is telling you that you actually, and the truth of it is, is that you are here. You are here and now. And that this is this is where you're meant to be at this moment in time. That's the reason why you're here is because you're meant to be here. So whatever you believe that you should be doing, um, it's just that it, it's, it's some kind of belief or something within you that can once you start to really it, you start to realize it doesn't matter where you are, that you can be you. You can be healthy and happy anywhere when you start to shift and change things from that place. And also that it's not about this card is also about not necessarily working harder to get to somewhere to to really it's about you know being smarter with it and where is that ultimate divine intelligence knowledge yes it is with the divine but it's also you have access to it within you as well so that's you know working smarter but it's from a divine intelligence that is there that you have access to everyone does they they do indeed thank you very much Erin, for uh, pulling that card um earlier and thank you angie um for thank you for thanking us um you know please do let us know how you how you felt um that that um you know how that went you know it's it's always interesting to hear people's journeys um when 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 they when they um, go through guide meditations or, or energy clearances so christy do you have any um insights or thoughts to leave our viewers just to um, honor where you're at, that it's not a race. It's not a um, comparison, not to compare yourself to others. It's not about that. It's, you know, we're, we get to be here. We get to, like I said, we get to help others. And it's not about, like I said, think of it as, you know, what if this were the first day of the rest of your life? Or what if this was were your last day? You know, it's like, what is the best thing that can happen? And so the best thing that can happen is that, you know, you, you get to be here and, and you, you know, by, like I said, by, by just doing whatever works best for you, honoring where you're at, you know, you get to bring that divine, have that divine, discover that divine within you, that power within you. Some people out there have, have mentioned that they're kind of afraid of that power within them because they don't know what it is. It's a divine thing. It's love. So that there's nothing to be afraid of with that. Okay. There's nothing to be, this not that kind of power. So it's not a, a human created power. It's a divine within you that is loving and supportive. Okay. And it's, there's gratitude there. Yes. Cause they're absolutely, there's so much gratitude with the divine too. Mm -hmm. And so, but, and then, you know, even ask yourself, what's the worst thing that could happen, you know, mm -hmm. and the soul is eternal. The soul is immortal. It does not die. It cannot die. Okay. Um, it is the essence of who we are, but it's, it, it lives on. And so mm -hmm. there's, you know, kind of, letting go of 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 that in which you know what what if and it's something followed by something negative or whatever start changing those two if you want to start changing those to what if and adding something positive 
you know, start just making these shifts and changes. But, you know, what what if, you know, this were your last day or whatever? Uh, what's the worst that can happen? You get to, you still get to be, go and, and be in that, your, that amazing love and, and, you know, you get to be helping no matter what. So, so at least while you're here, because this is what is important is that you do get to be here. So you obviously you're here for a reason. So why not make these changes so that you can be more, have a more pleasant experience because like I said, it, 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 you do get to, to choose that and you can ask your soul for help. You can ask your higher self for help. You can ask any divine being for help and also others that work with the divine can help you with that too. Um, anywhere you're, where you're supported, that can help. Any, anything can help you, but do what helps you thrive though. Yeah. Do what helps you with, um, you know, becoming, you know, as long as each day, you know, just that it's a better that, you know, you're, you just have that to where you're like, I'm just grateful that I'm doing my best be better than the day before. And, but you will notice though things when you start to really discover that in which you truly are, things will start to shift and change much more quickly, much more easily, much more harmoniously. And so you can do that. You get to do that. Yes, yeah, most, most definitely. And yes, Landry, nourish your soul. Very, 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 very important. So I hope everyone that you've enjoyed this and found it insightful and the words of wisdom Christy has given you will help you both on your journey. So Christy, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? My website is christywarnick.com. And so I'll put the links in the comments after the show. Yeah. And so you can go there. There's actually a free youthening. Uh, it's like a youthful vitality video that's available if you sign up on my um email list so people that use that regularly like daily or every other day they've actually been noticing you know changes some people um you know that watched it once and then they just didn't do it again so it's kind of something that's to help like as a to maintain things and just to kind of you know it works as a um sometimes as a, but i believe that anything is possible so it could work the first time for anyone but uh it just depends on the person everyone is different everyone is unique um but yeah, there's frequency numbers to play around with. They're on the homepage of my website there. I just updated my bio there. I'm going to be updating. I've got a ton of testimonials that I have not added in a long time. So I'm going to be updating that. And But yeah, there's, there's sessions there available, programs. So you can check all that out. And all of my, my replays, all the shows that I've done are on my YouTube channel. And... If you're curious as to how you can make changes, you know, pretty quickly, uh, just know that a couple of years ago, I was not doing videos at all. I did not believe that I could. I did not. I was scared to. Um, and now I do them all the time. Um, but you can go back and watch my first video and then compare it to like now if you want to. And they're totally different. So I have made so many changes. And what I have shared with you today and that I've been sharing in the last, I don't know how many months, is this This has been my journey. You can check out my journey throughout watching my YouTube videos because it's changed. And you will notice my beliefs have changed. My Just my knowing has changed. And my I have changed. And so... So it, it, I leave them on there because it, it does show my journey. And um, so, but the, the more recent ones, the more current ones are for those that are really ready to, to make those lifelong changes, not just a little bit here and there. There's some other videos that help with that. Absolutely. So just check out what, what you feel bad is best for you at that time. But if you want to make a lifelong change that's going to last pretty much forever um it, it's really you know connecting in with that true self and and knowing who and what you truly are um but it's not a, a something to figure out though it's something that that's going to come from within you you know is 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 it the like i said sometimes there's not even words for it and that's okay so let let things be a mystery 
Um, but like I said, YouTube channel there, Facebook page, facebook.com slash Christy Warnick one. I post inspirational posts every day. I've got an Instagram account that I post those same inspirational posts every day and I do weekly shows. And so I have all kinds of, you know, information out there that can help you. And I'm happy to work with you one on one, too. I love doing that. I'm, I'm your biggest cheerleader. Um, <laughs> Yes, outside the box, because and it's not. And that's the thing, though, is that there it, you'll learn that there is no box. No. And so there's nothing to really think outside of. And so once you discover that there was never a box there, how freeing is that? Exactly. Freeing and freeing and work and working with others, you know, that, you know, we we're not here to be alone. We are here to be with others and to work with others um to help not just ourselves but everyone else as well absolutely and from that place though we get to do that so much we can do so much more you know and, and but and and while maintaining our own health and well-being too um you know so that it's like i said it's not taken away from us in any way and so that way you know we get to do it and and be and stay and feel healthy and have that well-being and and all of that and still get to help others and we can do it from an, an infinite energy source because we're allowing that to come in and 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 do the work you know yeah and you can vibrate and look so brilliant as christy does um with, with the things you do you know you just see the energy radi radiating out of her so thank you, um, Christy, for being on the show today. And thank you, everyone, for watching um, and joining in with, with the conversation. And again, if you're watching this on the replay, you know, do put any comments or questions um, on them. We will sort of like come back and, and answer them. And I would like to invite you to share this video, as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny, just like you. And if you have reached that crossroads in your life and need help finding your destiny and getting clear on your path, um, then not only can Christy help you, but then I would love to go be a guide for you too. So reach out and connect with me so we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute video call um, to find out more about each other and how I can help you on your journey. And also, as you know, I do future life progression. And if it's something that's interests you and you're gonna be in the UK, then I'll be teaching a three day certified future life progression practitioner training on the 15th, 16th and 17th of November at the Clarendon Hotel in Blackheath. So please feel free to contact me for more details. And next Wednesday, there won't be a show. Um, I'm having a break next next week, but join me again on Monday, the 14th of October at 8 p.m. UK time. And yes, I did say Monday. Um, as these shows, as Christy was saying, these shows develop and grow and I'm changing the day of my show. So it will, instead of on a Wednesday, it will now be on a Monday. Um, and on the 14th, I'll be chatting to Keisha Ashley, a counsellor who helps women using art therapy um, on their journey to feel more empowered. So again, thank you all so much for watching. Again, thank you, Christy, for being here. It's been um, Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Um, and Angie says, sometimes when you're chugging videos, they come across as patronizing. And hopefully we haven't come across as patronizing for you. So, so thank you. We're here to support you. Mm -hmm. And you are always, like I said, loved and blessed. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. So again, thank you everyone for watching and thank you, Christy. And I will see you all in two weeks time. See you later. Bye. Thank you.